Hello, my friends. Today, I want to show you how you can edit a PDF file free using Sejda online PDF editor. Please be careful if you have private information on your file because this is an online PDF editor. Let's see how this Sejda can help you. You can cover a part of file with white color. You can edit the existing text. You can find and replace the text. You can copy and paste a new text to the file. You can sign the file. You can add a picture and edit forms. You can highlight and underline the text. You can add shapes and links. You can edit the file with many existing handwritings. And you can merge the files. The address bar is here. As you see, it is sejda.com slash PDF dash editor. The software that you need and you need to drag and drop your file here. So if my file is here, I can just drag the file and drop it on the PDF editor of this software. And it opens the PDF and this is my PDF. Suppose I want to edit this file and I can't do everything I want, but some part of that is free and we're going to focus on that part. So for instance, if I want to remove something from this file, for instance, this written part, I want to remove that. So I can go on the whiteout and I can make it just a rectangle here. And now it is gone. So you don't see that anymore. But don't forget the text is still behind this box, but you can't see that. It means if you move this box or on a different spot, you see that the text is under this box. So, so the next thing is adding a text. So the text is here. And if I plot on this, so it lets me to draw something. For instance, if I click here, now I can type my text So this. So for next line, if I want to go for next line, I just push enter and I type the rest of that. So, and you can just change that text. So you can pick this text. You can go for bolding text or changing the font, changing the color. If I want to change a part of this text, for instance, products, I want to change that to something else. I go here and I can remove that and type something else that I want. So the other way that you can edit a text is finding a word and change it to other things. For instance, I have here independent and I would like to change that to dependent. So I go for the more, find and replace, and I want to change independent to dependent. I find it and I replace it. Look at what happens to independent is changing to dependent. I have one more independent here. Again, I can just say that replace that dependent. So I can change a word on entire text by doing that one by one or just replace all. And it changes all those words to new things. Let's go and see what else we can do here. First of all, whatever you do, don't forget that you can go here and undo that. So look at that undo and it gives a text what I have done on this text on the PDF file. And if I like, I can undo any of them. For instance, the last one that I did here, I can click here and just say that or revert. And it's just making that Again, independent, so I can go back stage by stage on that PDF editor, which is very good, actually. The next thing that you can do, if you would like to add a shape, you can go here 
and just add a shape that you like anywhere on this, this file. For instance, I would like to add this here. So if I like to highlight a part of this text, I can do that. I can go on the annotate here and you see that I can highlight the text. So with any type of color that I want, for instance, I would like to highlight this word. So I can do that, this words. Yes, just highlight it. If I like to add a signature, I can go for signing here and add a new signature and then type it and then just save it. Then the signature comes here. You can sign it here. If you like type something here, you can go again to text and type your name. Yes, so you can sign it. If you would like to bring an image of your signature or image of anything you have, you can go here on the image. And then this time you can go for new image and you can bring your signature, which is real and change the size. So you can add an image of everything. It doesn't matter what it is, it comes to this file. Let's see what else we can do here. If you just go for the forms here and you click on any of these signs, you can click this anywhere you like. You go for the forms. And I would like to add a text inside the box. So you can do that here and bring the box here. And now you can add a text here. And finally, when you're done with this file and you want to save this file as it is, you can go just down here, apply changes, and it will be ready for you for downloading. So you press here. So if you open that, you see a new form. Okay, let's see what more we can do on Sejda as such as working on a PDF file with handwriting on it or combining PDF files. Suppose I have a PDF file here and it looks like this. I open that, it's like that. And as you see, there are many handwritings on this PDF file and I want to make it clean. It means I want to keep the text and sometimes change the text a bit, but the rest, I just want clean that handwriting, what I can do here. So I needed to drop this file on the upload PDF file. And now, as you see, I would like to clean this PDF. In some part of that, it might be easy. For instance, if I want to clean that area, it's easy because I can just go on the whiteout and clean this section. Yes, I can do that. But if I want to clean this, look at that. The highlights is just on the text. So I can't remove that highlight here. In order you do that, what you need, you need to go on your main PDF file, which is here. Go on the left side, copy this section, right click and copy. Then come back to the section, go for the whiteout, Clean the section whole, included the highlights. Now you go for text, click here, come back on this box and left click and then right click and paste. The second page, for instance, I don't need all this page. I just push here on the left side, delete page. And I've deleted all those pages. I just have one page which is clean. I come down here for apply changes and it's asking that you have edited your text. Do you want to keep that? And you say, yes, keep. Your task is processing and you can download that. Now let's see how I can add two PDF files and make it only one. So I'm going to merge two files together. So I go for opening the first one, for instance, I bring it here and drop it on the upload section. Now it looks as one page, but it's more than that. If I go on the pages view, so I can see that it's more than one page. Suppose I want to delete this one and delete that one. And this is only one page. I want to merge this with the second file, which is on the left side. And this is the file that we worked before. And I bring it here and drop it on the merge section. 
Now I have two files here. I can make them a bit bigger, as you see. I can bring this to the left and make it my first page. Yes, I can reorder that. And when I'm done, I will just merge PDF files, processing, and then download. This is page one, and this is page two, for instance. So this is how you can work with this software and sagda.com. There are also a few more options to edit PDF files. I leave the link below in the description. Please consider to subscribe my channel and see you next time. Thanks.